Hello everyone, this is Sarah again and I'm going to be talking about oats today in the third video in our germination series. Now, again, we have the blotter in the envelope form and you can see here, top left hand corner, we've got the lab number and the barcode that gives us the unique tracking system that we have here that we use in the lab. And you can also see that the blotter is quite nice and white. There's the odd mark on it but um, nothing to get too concerned about. Now when we open it up frost is something that oats are very susceptible to and um, I'm going to zoom in here and show you a close-up of what the oats look like after they've been affected by frost and you can see here um, frost um, when it affects the seed decays the seed very very quickly within a seven day period and we squeeze these to see if they're milky and if they've got soft tissue and then we know that they're actually dead they're not dormant and uh, can tell that these have actually been affected by an early frost and it's definitely impaired the germination now zooming out again just to show you how the frost has impacted this particular germination sample, we see that uh, only about 30 to 40 percent of these seedlings have actually survived and a good 50 to 60 percent um, have been affected completely by frost. And um, in this particular case, this is not a good candidate for storing over the winter. Uh, this germination is going to decline very very rapidly and, um, over the next few weeks and I would suggest that this particular client start to source new seed. The um, same thing is true with samples that have higher germination values too that have some frost damage. It's always a good idea to do frequent germination checks to make sure that the seedlings that we um, are calling normal are remaining normal and I just want to recap to show you that on a germination when we talk about normal seedlings we're looking for um, extremely good root systems nice intact um, coloriza and coleoptile good leaf structure and nice clean healthy looking seedling and this ends our presentation on frost and I just uh, before I uh, finish here I'd just like to say if you've enjoyed this series of germination you can um, access us through our website or follow us on Twitter and um, please look us up again because we'll be continuing on with other tests that we do here at the lab